Semi-final number one here in the America East Conference Championships goes to the Great Danes as they take a 12-11 win. And a close matchup we knew it was going to be between these two teams as you bring us inside the booth, Brian Mariano alongside Maddie Jones. And Maddie, two teams that met earlier this season was 10-7 game. The lead was three late, but you messed low, made it close. You all been able to come out of here with a win. Yeah, I've never seen a game that wasn't close in the America East tournament and today did not disappoint, ended up only one goal in it, so even closer than the regular season matchup between UMass Lowell and UAlbany. Take a look at some of the key plays that made it happen early on. UMass Lowell came out to a quick start, but really Grace Sinsebo was the one equal to the task most of the day. Yes, yeah, she's continued to excel, only a sophomore and got goalkeeper of the year for the America East regular season. Just a fantastic job all round by her, the clearing game, just reading those shots so well leading her team from behind, so she was our player of the game today, Brian. Honestly, like, I'm so I'm so confident in this team and my defense in front of me, which helps me stay so calm in these high-pressure moments. Um, so I really owe it to my teammates for having a great defense in front of me, um, allowing me to be so calm and comfortable in those high-pressure moments. Sinsebo had eight saves in the win, and you all many Looking at the Service Credit Union America East Championship standings. And now the bracket moving on. UAlbany will have semifinal number two between Binghamton and UMBC for that spot in the championship game, 10 o'clock at ESPNU. Yeah, and those two having a close game already, but both of those having really close games with UAlbany, so the final is set to be a brilliant one, too. Take a look at some of the final stats in this one. UMass Lowell able to get their shots off. That was one thing UAlbany did a good job of in the first game, which is 22. But unable to really capitalize are the UMass Lowell Riverhawks. You see the saves, eight for Grace Sintabo, and then Kuhn had herself a tremendous afternoon with nine saves as well. Really equal here, but when the opportunities in the second half in the free positions happened for the Riverhawks, they were unable to take advantage. UAlbany moves on to the championship game with a 12-11 win.